As a migrant, you come here, you feel like the first few negative information that you'll receive from people might discourage you from doing something actually good. The thing is, most times, we don't get opportunities to talk, for people to see who we really are and what we are bringing to the table. I hope you can see me. <laughs> For me, I do say instead of complaining that, you know, these people are not accepting me, I need to stress the fact that I am actually valuable, you know? And that is hard because most times these kind of words really sink deep inside you that sometimes you feel like giving up. But I'm here today. Not only did I have lots to learn during this Migrant Academy program, I also made a family, a community. Because I didn't have family here. I was alone. But each time I know that, okay, today we have a session, I'm going to see Teresa here, you know, I'm going to see Liliana, I'm going to see, you know, Valeria. I was very positive, looking forward to it. What we have as citizens, you know, to contribute to the society so that we can be, build greater things. So I think this, more of these programs should be, you know, put out there for people who are like stuck on how to, you know, progress with whatever fields of activism that they have in, in place within their little communities. Collectively, if our voices are heard, we can actually begin to look at these actual, you know, needs. Because if something is wrong and we are collecti collectively agreeing to it, it means there is a crack somewhere that needs to be fixed. The first solution is showing up and listening. So thank you all for today. I don't want to talk much. And uh, I'm really happy to be here. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs>